Hi guys, this is Jia Ying and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a special edition for Chinese New Year and I'll be sharing with you how to make pineapple tarts from scratch. Pineapple tarts or nastar as it is called in Indonesia is a must-have during Chinese New Year. Today's recipe is passed down to me from my mother-in-law who makes really, really delicious nastar. And um, throughout the video, I will be sharing with you the various uh, tips that she has taught me to make delicious tasting nastars. To make the pineapple tart, we would first need to make the pineapple jam, which is the most time-consuming part of this entire process. But the good thing is we can make the jam a few days to a week beforehand and store them in the fridge for later use. For this video, I used three honey pineapples weighing 1.5 to 2 kg each. Do not fret if you live in an area that does, where these uh, pineapples are not available. You can just use any other varieties of pineapples or even the canned pineapples will work as well. You may need to adjust the amount of sugar you use for the pineapple jam as it depends on how sweet you like a pineapple jam to be and the sweetness of the pineapple as well. To slice the pineapples, first you need to chop off the crown of the pineapple followed by the bottom of the pineapple. Um, then you need to slice off the skin from top to bottom and repeat this throughout the pineapple until all the skin is removed. To remove the eyes of the pineapple, just go along the lines formed by the pineapple and cut them across diagonally. One tip when slicing pineapples, wear foot grade gloves. I made the mistake of not wearing them and the pineapple acid promptly burned through my skin and I had really, really painful skin irritation for days after. Once you have sliced off the skin of the pineapple, cut it into halves first and then quarter it and remove the core. And um, you can then chop it into smaller chunks and set aside. If you like your pineapple filling to, be, to have a little more bite, uh, you may chop the pineapple into smaller bits like this. But honestly, for me, this is just too time consuming and I would rather set it through a blender. To blend the pineapples, I had to add a little bit of water at the start together with the pineapple chunks just to get the blender going. Once the pineapples are blended, uh, strain them over a colander and separate the juice from the pineapple puree. Uh, you can keep the juice for drinking later or even making your favourite cocktails. Pour the pineapple puree into a heavy bottom stainless steel uh, pan and set it over low heat. While you may not need to keep stirring the pineapple puree at the very start, uh, it is good to keep an eye on, on things because I have on occasion went about doing other things only to find that my pineapple jam burnt at the bottom. As the juice gets reduced, we will need to stir the pineapple jam constantly until it reaches this stage where it is still a little wet but not yet fully dried out. Then, add the sugar in gradually so you can gauge when the pineapple jam has reached your desired sweetness level. For me, the magic number is 8 tablespoons of sugar as I like my pineapple jam to be a little on the tart side. Once you've finished adding the sugar, add a pinch of salt into the pineapple jam. Um, it is very important not to miss this step because this little bit of salt really enhances the flavour of the jam as sweet as it may seem. As a finishing touch, add a small pinch of vanillin to give the pineapple jam a lovely delicate aroma. Uh, but do be careful not to add too much vanillin in though because that would make the jam super bitter. Once you have cooked the pineapple jam to this state of uh, dry texture, uh, you can turn off the heat and set it aside in a tray 
to cool down. Uh, after it's cooled, you can actually pack it in a zip top bag and then store in the fridge for later use. Before we proceed to make the pastry dough for the tart, we would need to first portion out the pineapple jam into individual sized balls uh, of equal size. Once the pineapple jam has all been wrapped uh, into little pineapple balls, uh, we would have to set it aside in the fridge to chill so that it's easier for us to wrap the pastry dough over it. To make the pineapple pastry, you would need the following ingredients. Flour, condensed milk, milk powder, a bit of sugar, and some eggs. And the star ingredient for the pineapple pastry is... Ta-da! Wisman butter. Wisman is a brand of Dutch butter that is really, really popular in Indonesia for the use in cakes and pastries because of its unique buttery smell and taste. To make the pastry dough, first you will need to mix the all-purpose flour with the milk powder. Mix it uh, gently using a whisk so that the milk powder and flour is evenly distributed. Then you need to separate the egg yolks from the egg whites. Um, for this recipe, we will not be using the egg whites. You can just keep the egg whites with uh, other egg dishes or making an uh, egg white omelette or even other pastries such as cake tongues or macarons because this recipe only uses egg yolks. You would need to put the butter, sugar, condensed milk into one large bowl and then using a handheld whisk and whisk it till combined. Uh, continue to beat the butter mixture until it turns a light shade of yellow. Then add in the egg yolks and whisk it in. Once the egg yolk is uh, mixed into the mixture, we would uh, pour in the flour mixture in stages. At this point, uh, I will continue to incorporate the dough and butter mixture using my hands uh, because as you can see, the dough is almost there. The, you can see that the dough is uh, mixed well and it is coming off uh, the sides of the bowl and the sides of the bowl are sort of clean. Uh, then you can cover this uh, bowl with a cling wrap and set it aside to rest for at least half an hour before we shape the pineapple tarts. To shape the pineapple tarts, flatten a ball of dough into a disc and wrap it around the pineapple jam. Uh, now that the pineapple tarts have been all rolled into little pineapple balls, we can add in a stick of whole clove into the centre to make it look like an orange. Uh, not only does it make it look great, it also makes your home smell so heavenly when you bake it. If you're not into cloves, you may leave them out and the tarts will still be delicious. Bake the tarts at the bottom rung of the oven to prevent the top of the tarts from drying out too early. For the glaze, 
melt some butter and gradually whisk it into the egg yolks to prevent the yolks from becoming scrambled eggs. Look at the gorgeous colour of the glaze. Lightly brush the top of the pineapple tarts with the glaze and finish baking it on the top rung of the oven. Mmm, 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 so nice and crumbly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For the detailed recipe and instructions, please refer to the description box down below. Please remember to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified when our next video is up. And now it's time for me to eat my pineapple tart. See ya!